When I did my first loan in August of 1986, the rates were at 10.26 with over two points. And technology back in 1986 looked like this. This is how I presented options. This is how I had pre-qualified someone. It was with a yellow sheet of paper and an HP 12C. A couple years later, in 1989, when LOS came out and we actually had a fee worksheet. No longer did we need to type out a 1003. No longer did I need to do a handwritten 1003. We could use an LOS and it delivered. Here's your rate, here's your payment, here's your cash to close. Guys, that was an innovation. The deal is though, that's how most loan officers are still delivering rates and fees to a consumer. Then the fax machine came, and this was a massive innovation. Prior to the fax machine, I felt like as a loan officer, my job was a messenger. Even how loans were priced, this was an innovation because now rates and fees could come through on a fax machine and lenders could get prices faster and loan officers could find more options to families. I'm going to skip forward many years because this is when the whole industry changed and this is when the world changed. I don't think anybody realized when Steve Jobs held up a smartphone, an iPhone in 2007, just how much it would change the world as a consumer and just how much it would change the mortgage industry and the real estate industry. But this was the beginning of the digital age shift. And when we talk about what is the digital age shift, it's just this. Prior to the smartphone, a family could not find a home without the help of a realtor and the MLS. However, in today's world, the mobile phone is not just a way to find a home, it is home entertainment. Using platforms like Zillow, like Redfin, and hundreds of other platforms to have all the power to find homes, to apply for mortgages with a phone. This is the definition of the digital age shift. Then in 2016, during a Super Bowl ad, Quicken Mortgage, now called Rocket Mortgage, launched a rocket, told American consumers that applying for a home loan was as simple as pulling out your mobile phone, putting in the information, and you're approved. Since the rocket launch, for every mortgage professional in America, your primary source of referrals has more competition. This is what the competitive battlefield looks like for a real estate agent. There's a lot of channels of competition and there's more competition than ever. And the real estate industry is changing, possibly even disrupting. So it's never been more important for real estate agents to leverage technology to deliver a modern consumer experience. And it's never been more important for lenders to deliver a modern mortgage experience. Just a few years ago, this is what the battlefield looked like from a competitive landscape for lenders. It's 2022. This is what the battlefield looks like. A digital mortgage and real estate experience for families looking to buy homes, refinance, optimize their equity, optimize their debts, make sure they're building wealth with real estate. There's never been more competition. There's never been more options. This is what most lenders and realtors database looks like. You don't know what the needs are of that consumer, and you don't know how likely they are to want to buy a new home or refinance their home. This is what the database looks like of Zillow, of Rocket, of Amazon. They know who is most likely to want to move up, move down, refinance. They have this information. So here's the decision that every mortgage and real estate agent needs to think about is who do I want to be in this digital shift era? Do I want to be that innovator? Do I want to be that early adopter that gains market share, that is winning in this digital age shift? Or do I want to wait until I'm losing market share, I'm losing business, I'm losing clients, and I'm, I'm a lagger? This is what the database could look like for mortgage professionals in today's market. This is what it needs to look like for you. Every mortgage professional in America needs to be able to understand what their consumers are doing, and they need to be able to deliver a presentation automatically, anticipate the needs of the consumer, and then deliver the consumer the advice, 
and information to help them make an informed decision.